Hi guys, Freddy here. Welcome back to another Retro Adventures. And at the end of this poll, we've got a very clear winner with Shadows of a Bogenhafen for Wild Fancy Roleplay. Now we'll cover that on the desktop in a wee second, and I'll be back as usual at the end of the video with some other poll related stuff and some other stuff about the channel. But if you'd like to help the channel out, or you'd like to help support the channel, then there's a Patreon in the description down below. So if you click on that, you can see what you can do to help out, and it'd be very much appreciated. But anyway, let's have a look at Shadows Over Bogenhafen. So, this is Shadows Over Bogenhafen, the first part of the Enemy Within campaign. Now this particular copy is the 1995 release from Hogshead Publishing. Now it compiles two earlier books from 1987 by Games Workshop, which was the Enemy Within campaign, which set up the campaign and had the background on the Empire and had a short adventure called Mistaken Identity. And then they had published Shadows of Bogenhaf and the adventure itself as a separate book. But since Mistaken Identity isn't much more than an encounter, although it's an ad counted as an adventure, it's not very much to it. They compiled these two into the first book. So we've got a lot of background information and we've got the adventure itself. Now let's have a look at the back cover. The Enemy Within Campaign, Volume 1. And at the appointed time we shall rise from our secret places and throw down the towns and cities of the Empire. Our brethren shall pour forth from the forests to slay and burn. Chaos will cover the land, and we, the chosen servants, shall be exalted in his eyes. Hail to Zinch, changer of the ways. Nijwathrak Limbar Zinch. An excerpt from the Book of Transmutation. The Empire, perhaps the greatest nation in the old world, it has stood for two and a half millennia as a bulwark against the threat of chaos. Down the ages, from the time of legend when Sigmar held and hammer ruled, to the peaceful days it now enjoys, the Empire has endured. Within its borders, the Emperor's armies keep the peace. The Empire stands firm against the enemy without. But what of the enemy within? And then we've got the box section for Shadows of Wogenhafen. The Enemy Within Shadows of Wogenhafen is the first volume in an epic campaign for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. It is the definitive guide to the mighty Empire of the Warhammer Old World, full of background information covering the history, geography, politics and religions of the Empire, as well as invaluable material on starting and running the campaign. And you can begin straight away with an intriguing and chilling adventure which introduces the players to the Empire, sets them on a hunt to seek out and destroy the heart of a demonic conspiracy, and brings them face to face with the corruption threatening the very foundations of their world. This volume combines material originally published separately as The Enemy Within and Shadows of Bogenhafen, now revised into a clearer, easier to use format. Although some complain about the typos which were introduced in this copy, but it's 1995. I will accept that mistakes happened in publishing, which wasn't going out to that many people. Now, as it says, the book has the Enemy Within campaign background information. So we look here, got a big table of contents. We've got the Enemy Within talking about the people of the Empire, the Empire itself, talking about what is a campaign. So this is all very introductory stuff. It's getting your players into Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. You've perhaps run the adventure out of the book, but you're taking them a bit further now. It talks about presentation, flexibility, role-playing and combat, NPCs, when they get a chance to change careers, player character deaths and how to replace them. Really handy stuff for a campaign, because obviously, especially in the more dangerous world of Warhammer, not everybody's going to make it out alive. We've got things like travel in the Empire detailed here. Now, land travel, coaching houses... A big part of Warhammer seems to be based around inns and coaching houses. It's where a lot of stuff happens, lots of intrigue during the night as you stop over at a coaching house. Brief history of the Empire, so starting with the legend of Sigmar Heldenhammer. The Age of Wars, the Age of Three Emperor, Empires, um, the Dark Ages, Incursions of Chaos, an Empire Reborn. We've got the timeline for the Empire, which of course, amusingly enough to me in, as British, 1979, Empress Margrethe becomes last elected Empress for 400 years. Well, of course, in 1979, the UK elected Margaret Thatcher as Prime Minister, who stayed Prime Minister for what seems like 400 years, but was actually, what, 12, 11, something like that, forever. Got some maps of the Empire here. Political structure, 
because as the campaign goes on, that will be very, very important. Guilds, taxes and revenue, really detailing all the stuff, laying out the empire as a place for you to adventure in, in more detail than the rulebook did. The religion in the empire, including the cult of Sigma, worship of other deities, prescribed cults, the geography, just lots of background information, uh, routes around the empire, um, soldiers of the empire, including the halfling infantry, including stats for all these, the armies of Altdorf, a very nice guide to the different types of dress, so how wizards dress in the empire, clerics, town dress, rangers, warriors, the upper class, your homeland, the empire, going through towns and all that. Then we're on to how mutants are treated within the empire and the various random mutations you can select. Herbs and their uses. Standard NPCs. So when the uh, players come up and hire, meet a halfling cook or they get waylaid by a thug or they're speaking to a tollkeeper, you've got all the stats at hand. Very, very useful stuff. And then we're into the start of the adventures themselves. So we've got Mistaken Identity, which, without going into too much detail about, is the standard spending a night at a coach again Warhammer adventure where intrigue happens. And as the title of the adventure says, there's Mistaken Identity. The players get mistaken for somebody else, especially when they arrive at their destination. Um, various encounters in that. It's a fun enough little adventure. Uh, perhaps a session, perhaps two. It's not going to go on terribly long. And then we're into the meat of the book. We've got Shadows of Wagenhafen. Now in this, the players are in a town. And there's a festival going on. And I'm trying not to spoil too much. The players get hired, hired to seek out a goblin who was a circus sideshow freak. He has escaped into the sewers. So the adventurers have to go down into the sewers and catch him. And this is classic Warhammer. I've always said the difference between Dungeons & Dragons and Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay is Dungeons & Dragons, you get your noble knights and paladins and warriors, intelligent wizards going into the dragons, uh, the dungeon and hunting down a mighty dragon. Where... In Warhammer, you're going down the sewers to hunt goblins, and you're going to be a panhandler or a beggar or something like that. A rat catcher. Now, while they're down in the sewers, they encounter other things going on. Um, there are plots afoot within Bogenhafen, which will lead to the destruction of the city if the players don't intervene. Um, so we've got standard stuff like they go into the fair um, and there's various interactions which can happen at the different stalls and everything that's going on there. Then we've got them being hired to go into beneath the town and down the sewers and there's various encounters down there as they explore the sewers and find something going on, something rotten. There's various events happening in the town as the plots they encounter are ongoing and they have to deal with it. Or the adventure very nicely details what happens if they fail. That's one of the outcomes of this adventure, that the city can be destroyed, that chaos wins. And that's very nice indeed. Um, the heroes are not necessarily winners all the way they may well just survive it um there's lots of uh, plots and intrigues going on where the nobility of the town some of them are plotting to achieve things some of them are in the chaos cults and some are innocent um and of course it comes down to a battle against chaos itself the book has the Gazetteer of Bogenhafen, so laying out the city itself, because they're going to spend a lot of time running around between different encounters. And then we've got various characters and major players, including the Town Watch, 
because the players may decide to go to the watch and go, hey, wait a second, there's bad stuff going on, help. We've got a bunch of very nice handouts, talking about the festival, the fair that they go to, maps of the city. We've got some uh, player characters made up, so instead of making their own, they can just pick one of these up. It's all very nicely presented. Lots of nice stuff to hand out to the players. And it's an absolutely classic start to the Enemy Within campaign. It's just so in tone for Warhammer Fantasy roleplay. And to a degree, you could port this into other settings. The idea that cultists are interacting with chaos. Well, in Dungeons & Dragons, they'd be dealing with one of the demonic planes one of the hells to bring demons or devils over instead of bringing creatures from of chaos over the whole thing stands and it starts at such a lower level than most dungeon dragon stuff you're not brave warriors you are the guys that are hired to go down the sewers to sort a problem when a goblin runs away the tone is just so nice it's dark it's grungy and it's fairly humorous throughout. This is possibly my favourite part of the Enemy Within campaign because it's just so down to basics. Absolutely fabulous stuff. So that was Shadows of Bergenhafen, an absolutely classic start to the Enemy Within campaign for WoW Fantasy Roleplay. And that won the poll on 33% of the vote, way ahead of everything else. Although, as the week went on, Scavenger Hunt for the Star Wars role-playing game did surge up to 24%, coming in second. Behind that was Mercurial for Shadowrun, and that was on 20%, and was very steady throughout the week. And lagging way behind is City of Angels for Twilight 2000, and Out in the Black for Serenity, the role-playing game. Which I'm very disappointed did so badly because it's something I would like to look through because the Serenity rule set is one of my favourite role playing rule sets out there and it'd be nice to have a look through and see whether the adventures were up to the standard of the rule book. But that's for another time now. Anyway, another poll's up and we're back to a retro RPG one. So I'm trying to steer clear of the big boys so there's no Dungeons and Dragons stuff in this one and I've gone with the Silver Fangs tribe book for Werewolf the Apocalypse. Now, this is one of the many tribe books for the different types of werewolves you can get in the game. Now, these are the Silver Fangs, so they're the ruling ones. Next, we've got Horrors of the Weird West for Deadlands D20. Now, in the early 2000s, everything came out in D20, and Deadlands was fairly popular, so there was a version of it, and this is basically the monster manual for the D20 version of Deadlands. And we've got the Soviet Vehicle Guide. Now, this is for Twilight 2000, the first edition of it. They compiled these later into heavy vehicle guides and all that, but this is the individual book for the Soviets, which I think would be quite interesting to look at, because I think if you're paying attention to what's going on in Ukraine, then you're becoming familiar with a lot of vehicles of this period, which the Russians are still using. We've got Rift's Mercenaries. Now, this isn't a numbered world book. This is a source book about the various mercenary groups in the worlds of Rift's. Um, it introduced the Nurani, um, so it'd be quite nice to have a look through that. And finally, we've got the Alternity Games Master's Guide. Now, this is for the Alternity RPG, something I didn't own until I started this channel, and somebody had recommended it, so I picked up the Beginner's Box and covered it on the channel, and liked it so much that I did go out and get the Player's Guide and the Games Master's Guide. Now, I've covered the game, uh, Player's Guide on the channel before, so it'll be quite nice to complete the set and cover the Games Master's Guide. But it's now in your hands. You decide what we cover next. On other channel-related stuff, I think I'm finally getting the Discord channel going, and we're going to try and set up a 1 D&D campaign on there. A video should have come out about that on Friday, and I'll release other videos mentioning it as we get together, create characters, and run through an old first edition or before D&D adventure together. Other stuff, nothing much going on. I'm really trying to get myself organised, but we shall see what form that takes. Anyway, I think I've witted on for quite long enough, so thank you very much for watching. But as always, most of all, 
you look after yourselves. And I'll catch you later. Bye now.